Right, Drew. Drew Peacock. May's got a little... Wants me to roast you. She's asked me to roast you. And I've never roasted anyone on here. You're, you're me first. And maybe that's maybe that's something you can say to uh, some of these... Some of the women you're being too soft with. You need to stiffen up, mate. You need to harden up a bit, you know. Get get harder, you know. And not, not be like just... You know, just like floating about the room and that. You've got to be a bit more... Um, you gotta be a bit more up front with them, a bit more, a bit more forward, you know, and maybe up a little bit, and maybe slightly crooked, you know. That's that's what they like, me. So I've heard anyway. You know, apparently you move into uni. Oh, when when I went to uni, it's probably no surprise to you watching this. I wasn't really a, a ladies man. Wasn't really a people person. Pretty much just locked myself in my bedroom for three years and just played PlayStation. <laughs> uh, because I had the opportunity to, you know, that's, I, I hadn't, I, I'd done a bit of that obviously before then, but I was still used to work in a butcher's and then I didn't have to work in a butcher's on the weekend and that, so I didn't, I didn't have to uh, be up in the mornings anymore, so I could stay up all night playing GTA 5 on the PlayStation. Mint me, great time. But a lot of people had a better time by, you know, get, getting off with women and that, whereas I, I wasn't really, I don't know, not really to say I wasn't into it, but it was, you know, but uh, this is about me. This is supposed to be about you moving to uni, and I, I know that you, you, it's probably, this feels like it's just a lie anyway. Not what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth, but, but I don't think me is telling me the truth. I don't. I don't think me is telling me the truth because I find it very hard to believe there's someone called Drew Peacock, because obviously that sounds like Drew Peacock, and if your mum and dad did name you that, then. I mean, at least they've got a sense of humour. I imagine you've lived with like a little bo a boy called Sue situation, you know. But uh, I mean, that would mean though that you've had something to prove, and like maybe you'd go around trying to prove that by getting with women. And if you tell women my name's Drew Peacock, you know they're gonna be like, "Is it really? Eh? How far does it droop? Does it droop far? Does it not droop that far? You know." Uh, it's 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 an hard one to try and they've they've literally given me all they've given me to go off here is moving to uni and being too much of a softy with the women. Well, you you probably need to you know just uh, don't go the nedging route. The nedging nedging don't do that because there's there's no point to it. It's just you know it's just mean spirited and that and everyone will just think you're a bell end. But you know just be polite. You know be polite and be like you know you know what I mean. Uh, are you drunk? No. Buzzing. Fancy a bit? You know, try that, try that. It's never worked for me, but it might work for you. You might be a better looking guy than me. I've always wondered how people, you know, so confidently take women back to their houses. I have one of them sort of faces where if I approach a woman and say, do you want to come back to my house? They're like, no, 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 no. They're very, they're very unsure around me, innit? Which is a shame, you know, because I am actually quite, I, I think, quite, quite, quite gentle, you know. I'm not, I'm not a mentalist, you know what I mean? But uh, we'll just go home and maybe watch uh, an Emmerdale omnibus together. That's some. that's something you could try with a minute. You're into Emmerdale? You are! Would well, you want to watch Emmerdale then? I've, I've got something I'd like to do and then then we'll watch Emmerdale. You know, try, try it like that. I don't know what soft people do, I don't know what this means, stop being a softy with the women, other than it just being a pun because they've said your name's Drew Peacock. If your name is actually Andrew Peacock, though, I, I love the idea, though, that your name's Andrew, and then everyone's called you Andy, and then now your girlfriend's just figured out, but if I call you Drew, it sounds like I'm insulting your penis all the time. But maybe it's a compliment as well, maybe that's a compliment to be called, you know, to be told you've got a droopy penis. But droopy doesn't sound all that good, does it? Droopy sounds a bit like deformed and mal like malnourished almost. Oh, it's a bit droopy, you know. Oh, it's droopy. It's not like oh, it's fucking droopy. Like that's not droopy, is it? That's swinging. That's a swinging penis. That's not a drooping penis. But I, I don't know. I hope this was. I hope. I hope this has made you feel bad about yourself, mate, in some way or other, because that's what she's asked for with the roast in it. Because I don't think it's been that funny in it, but. I needed a, I think I need a bit more to go off here, cause I I I think May's forgot that I don't know who you are in it. So I, this is this is hard, me. This, un, unlike you, you're you're a softy, you're a droopy cock. 